Hey, it's Matt Radford here from Roofer.com. I'm going to show you how to upload a drone image into our roof measurement tool. So what you're going to do is you're going to sign into your roof dashboard, your roofer dashboard, and you're going to click on measurements on the left-hand side of the screen. <clears throat> then what you do is you click create measurement and then type in the address of the home that you're going to measure. This is a childhood home that I had. And as you see, the imagery is very, very blurred in this rural area. So I have no other choice but to upload a drone image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click browse. And then when I was out there taking the picture with the drone, I measured a, one of the ridges. So I know exactly how to set the scale. It's going to prompt me to draw a line. So I made my measurement across this ridge here when I was on site. So I'm going to draw my line, and I know this ridge is 32 feet. So I'll just enter it at 32 feet. And that's it. Your drone image is now uploaded, and you can start measuring. I'm not going to do the full measurement right now, but if you would like to book a demo with me, there is a button underneath this video that you will take you to my calendar and you can book a demo with me and I can actually sit down with you and show you the ins and outs on how to use this roof measurement tool. Basically what you're going to do is you just go around, you draw your lines and you mark all your 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 lines. If uh, when you're on site, make sure you have a pitch gauge finder. You can figure out what the pitch is and then you're going to enter in the pitch. And then the final product, once you have all your lines drawn, looks like this. So this is the complete roof, all done. All the lines are drawn, all the lines are marked. And what I get when it's all done, this costs nothing. This was totally free, just my time to go out and take the drone image. There's no fee to have, uh, there's no subscription fee. There's no cost to use this. It's 100% free for you to use. So this is the roof report that you get. And this cost me nothing other than my gas to drive out and take the picture. You got that your color image that you uploaded, your drone image. You have the footprint of the home. You have all your measurements, eaves, ridges, step flashings, valleys, rakes, transitions, hips, wall flashings, any unspecified areas. You have the square footage of each slope. You have the pitch and direction of each slope. You can see these dormers are 812. This transition point here is a 612, and the rest of the roof is 1212. And then this is your bread and butter. You have the total report here, all of your measurements that you need. You have the different areas of the different pitches. You have the total square footage of the whole home. And then you have the total square footage and number of squares based on waste factors. Something like this, I'd go probably with a 20% waste factor. So that would be the number I would use to bid this job. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Uh, like I said, if you want uh, a demo on how to use this roof measurement tool, there's a button underneath this video, book a demo with me, and uh, I'll give you some tips and pointers on how to use this efficiently. Okay, take care. Have a great day.